Hey kids, welcome back to math. This week in math, you've been learning all about decomposing numbers. Now that you know how to decompose numbers, it's time you start solving them in real world problems. After all, that's the whole point of math, to use in your real life. But before we do, there's two things we need to make sure you know because they are so important to understand decomposing. The first is, what does it mean to decompose? If you said to break apart, you're right. Decomposing is the same thing as breaking apart a whole. The next thing we need to talk about is, what does it mean to be equal? Hmm. If you said equal means the same, you're right. All right, now that we cleared that out of the way, let's talk about some real world problems. I actually have a real world problem I need your help with right now in my classroom. Come on, let's go. Hey friends, behind me, I've got six buckets of supplies that I need to put on these two shelves. Now. I can't fit all of the supplies on one shelf, so I'm going to need to put some on the top shelf and some on the bottom shelf. Hmm, I bet there's more than one way I could do this. I know, I could put three buckets on the top and three buckets on the bottom. Is that the only way I could do this? Of course not. Let's try another way. I could put two buckets on top and four on the bottom. Do I still have six buckets in all? I do. This is just another way of decomposing six. Now, let's check out some more math stories. Look at the beautiful sunflowers I picked. Now, it's time to bring them inside and put them in my vases. I picked a total of seven sunflowers and I have two vases to put them into. There's so many different ways I could do this. For example, I could put three flowers in one vase and four in another. I could show this by writing seven equals three plus four. Do you think that's the only way I could put them in the vases? You're right. There's tons of different ways I could. This is just the way I chose to. See if you can help me with the next problem. I picked five sunflowers. It's time to put them in their vases. How would you separate the flowers into the vases? Ooh, that's a good idea. Hmm, I think I'm going to put one in this vase and four in this vase. Can you write the equation to show how I broke apart five? You should have said five equals one plus four. See how easy it is to solve real world problems? Thanks for learning with me. I'll see you next time.